This is Chad, where the Toyota war turned pickup trucks into powerful weapons. Today, we explore this African gem and everything it holds. Stay tuned to find out more about this intriguing military strategy. Chad is an expansive Central African nation that contains a variety of geographic landscapes and features. Covering over 490,000 square miles, Chad stretches from the arid Saharan desert in its north to the fertile Sudanese savannas in its south. The top half of Chad consists of the rocky Saharan desert along with the semi-arid Sahelian grasslands to the south of that. Further south, the central plateau region contains scrub forests and grassy highlands roamed by elephants and antelope. The capital and largest city in Jamena sits along the Chari River in the western central area. Lush savannas and wetlands comprise Chad's southern third area, which receives heavier rainfall. The second largest city, Saar, and economic center, Moundou, inhabit the southern regions. Flowing rivers, swamplands, and small hills characterize the terrain where most Chadians reside and engage in agricultural activities like fishing, livestock, and crop cultivation. Lake Chad also occupies part of the country's southwest near the Nigerian border. The earliest records show the presence of the Kingdom of Kanem in Chad starting around the 9th century AD. Located around Lake Chad, Kanem prospered for centuries through trade and commerce. At its peak in the 1200s, Kanem controlled territory stretching across parts of Libya, Niger and Nigeria as well. Eventually, the kingdom declined and gave rise to the new kingdom of Bornu in the late 1400s. It wasn't until the 1890s that the French military began their conquest of the lands that make up modern-day Chad. Setting up their first major colonial outpost in 1900, the French incorporated the territories of Kanem, Bornu, Bagirmi and Wadai into their new colony of French Equatorial Africa. The French ruled their colonies with an authoritarian style, providing little autonomy. As the winds of change swept across Africa in the 1950s and 60s, Chad began to push for its independence. Under the leadership of François Tombalbe, Chad gained its independence from France in 1960. But Tombalbe's authoritarian rule triggered dissent, and by 1965, a civil war had broken out between government forces and rebel groups. This instability set the tone for decades of civil war and unrest to follow. Most notably, Chad and Libya erupted into a conflict known as the Toyota War in 1987. It gained this name because Chadian troops were able to outmaneuver Libyan brigades using Toyota pickup trucks fitted with anti-aircraft guns over the rocky desert terrain. Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi had occupied the uranium-rich Arzu Strip region in Chad's north since the 1970s. After many failed diplomatic attempts to negotiate a Libyan withdrawal, Chadian forces finally succeeded in pushing Libyan troops back across the border in decisive surprise attacks. Today, Chad still faces major internal security threats from rebel groups and external pressures from the overflow of conflict in neighboring countries like Libya and Sudan. However, recent oil production that began in 2003 provides some hope for economic development. The Saharan and Sahelian country of Chad has a highly diverse population consisting of hundreds of ethnic groups and languages. Chad's strategic location in Central Africa has resulted in a blending of different peoples over its history. More than 200 ethnic groups reside in Chad. In the north live tribes like the Zaghawa, or people of the south as they call themselves. The Tubu and the Goran people are other northerners adapted to desert life. In southern Chad dwells dozens of black African ethnicities like the Sara, Ngambaye and Mbaye. Intermarriage has brought kinship between many northern and southern peoples, 
Most Chadian Arabs and Tuaregs are bilingual or trilingual. Over 120 indigenous languages or dialects belong to Afroasiatic, Nilo-Saharan and Niger-Congo language families. Arabic and French are also official languages in Chad. However, Jula or Chadian Arabic has become the common language for many Chadians of diverse backgrounds. Sarah and Ngambai, people predominantly speak variations of their own languages. An estimated 55-60% of Chadians are Muslim, while 35-40% follow Christianity. A small minority also follow indigenous religions. Most Muslims adhere to more mystical and relaxed Sufi traditions influenced by sub-Saharan Africa. Christians largely belong to the Roman Catholic or Protestant denominations. Indigenous religions honor ancestral spirits, forces of nature, and sacred places. Chad is one of the poorest and least developed countries in the world, with around 40% Chadians living below the poverty line. The World Bank estimates that Chad's GDP is around $12.7 billion as of 2022. Oil production and export drives Chad's modern economy. Oil extraction began in 2003 through a pipeline to neighboring Cameroon and now accounts for over 90% of Chad's exports. However, volatile global oil prices lead to peaks and troughs in growth. Mismanagement of oil revenues also channels profits to political elites over national development. Outside of oil, Agriculture employs nearly 80% of Chad's labor force, but faces low productivity levels. Subsistence farming of millet, grains and livestock, grazing support rural farmer populations. Just 3 to 5% of the land is irrigated for cultivation. Recurrent droughts and floods demonstrate the existing challenges for the agricultural sector. Landlocked between Libya, Sudan, Central African Republic, Nigeria, Niger, and Cameroon, Chad faces regional instability and internal turmoil, shaping its diplomatic maneuvering. Since independence in 1960, Chad has suffered authoritarian rule and civil conflict, leaving a fragile state threatened by rebel groups and ethnic tensions between different groups. Chad borders turbulent nations like Darfur, embattled Sudan and post-Gaddafi Libya, causing refugee overflows, cross-border raids and arms trafficking. Boko Haram also conducts attacks from Nigeria. To gain allies, Chad sent troops backing neighbors against insurgents. Its participation in France's Sahel-wide counter-terrorism operations further mires Chad in regional quagmires even while seeking stability. Their partnerships extend beyond former colonial ruler France and Central African associates to unlikely allies. China provides Chad with infrastructure loans, while Western powers support its counter-terror contributions. However, oil wealth alignment with authoritarian regimes in Chad and elsewhere generates condemnation. Music remains integral to Chad's cultural DNA, with signature instruments like the Kakaki trumpet, signaling military victories, while lyrical poets known as griots use song to share history across generations. Woodwind and percussion dominate compositions, fusing Arabic, North African sounds with sub-Saharan rhythms in celebrations of identity. Equally important, Chad's visual landscape conveys meaning through paintings depicting village scenes, architectural designs seen in spherical thatched roofs, and vibrant mask carvings drawing from mythological spiritual imagery. Styles blend realism with abstraction to emphasize cultural symbols, as contemporary fine artists also contribute installations and sculpture. Chad is home to a vibrant culinary tradition that beautifully blends African, Arabic and French influences. Despite its diverse influences, Chadians maintain a strong food culture 
that makes hearty use of local crops and livestock, la bouilli, a thick, creamy breakfast porridge made from rice or wheat that is cooked with milk, flour, and peanut butter. It has a soft, smooth texture and nutty, sweet flavor. La bouilli is frequently customized with extra toppings like fruit, nuts, or cinnamon. Jarret de Boeuf, a slowly braised beef stew named shin of beef in French. It contains beef cooked until tender for two plus hours, along with vegetables like carrots, sweet potatoes, leeks, eggplants, and greens. The rich stew is served warm in bowls with bread or rice to soak up the savory sauce. Ayash, a popular Chadian appetizer or side made from millet flour dough that is rolled into balls and dipped into various sauces. The mild millet base soaks up flavorful accompaniments like thick peanut sauce, spinach dip, or a spicy pepper mix. Daraba, a hearty Chadian peanut and vegetable stew featuring a sauce made from ground peanut paste, diced tomatoes, okra, sweet potatoes, eggplants and spinach or other greens, turmeric, ginger and cayenne pepper add zesty flavor. Daraba is spooned over rice, boiled cassava or fried plantains. Bango, a Chadian lamb and sweet potato stew seasoned with fragrant spices like ginger, garlic, onions and tomatoes with bouillon for a savory touch. Some variations include additional vegetables or legumes. Bangau is served warm over fluffy couscous or white rice as a main meal. If you enjoyed this video on Chad, you'll love this next one.